back to the wellness check. Today is going to be a very simple and quick video about some lingo that we use here in the office for um, EMDR, but also for brain spotting. When it comes to treatment planning, when it comes to talking about what is it that you want to focus on, whether we're doing an EMDR protocol setup that's very formal, or we're just kind of planning for like, okay, we're going to do some brain spotting. What is it that you want to focus on? Some people either get overwhelmed by that question. There's too many kind of darts to throw to look at what to focus on. Um, and other people just don't know how to answer the question. It, it can be a confusing question. So there's something we say in here uh, when treatment planning and developing what we're focusing on. And it's called the worst or the first. And even then people kind of are like, what? what does that mean? It's an easy way to really filter this out. So it's exactly like it sounds. If we're picking the worst, then this means, you know, we've had a lot of conversation together, a lot of background, history taking, the rapport is there, I know a lot about you and why you're coming to therapy. What do you wanna focus on? What feels like the worst? What feels like the worst one? Is it something that happened kind of recently? Is it something that's really relevant to you right now? It's still a problem and it's bothering you or it's upsetting you or re-traumatizing you? Is it something from a long time ago that just changed the course of your life after it happened? And even though it happened a long time ago, you remember it as being probably the most awful thing that has happened. That's the worst. And we say, okay, let's take that memory, let's take that experience, let's take those emotions and beliefs that surround that experience. And we're gonna develop that into our target, our framework in which to zoom in and say, this is what we're focusing on. And it feels relevant. The other option is the first. And just as it sounds, this one goes way back into time. And we all have those experiences that change the course of our life. We were never quite the same after that. Maybe it happened 10 years ago. Maybe it happened 45 years ago when you were a young child and it impacted you and it changed the way you felt about yourself. It changed the way you viewed the world around you. It impacted your relationships. That's the first. And technically it doesn't need to be the first, but it's kind of with the color of like going way back, going way back into time and looking at these early events in life that helped to shape you and that had an impact on you and focusing on zooming in the painful parts of that. So when you hear a, a trauma-informed therapist talk about the worst or the first, that's what we're talking about. And it's a super simple way to help frame what is it that you wanna focus on. Because if there's a million things that are bringing you in and you have story after story and life event after life event, that's overwhelming. It's an overwhelming question. Where do I start? I don't know. First or worst. If you find yourself going into therapy or you're a seasoned client in, therapist, in therapy, think about it in terms like that of not just any shot in the dark of any little thing or big thing that has happened, but specifically these impacting moments. And the best way to start it is with the worst or the first. It would be a wonderful thing to talk to your therapist about. I'm sure your trauma-informed therapist would greatly appreciate it. So there you go. Now you know about the worst and the first, why it's important and how it just simplifies the process, brain spotting, EMDR, or just discussion in general of what feels important to you in a specific way. I hope this helps. Thank you for checking in with your wellness and I'll see you soon.